One of the basic elements in any document is the paragraph. In this video, I want to introduce you to two aspects of formatting your paragraphs, alignment and indenting. You already know that you can set margins for your document. The margins define how much white space there should be at the left and right side of your printed pages. One fundamental specification for laying out paragraphs is determining how they appear in relation to the left and right margins. Word refers to this specification as alignment. You can set four types of paragraph alignment within Word, each of which is visible on the home tab of the ribbon in the paragraph group. When I'm ready to align a paragraph, all I need to do is place the insertion point within the paragraph that I want to affect. If I want to affect multiple paragraphs, then I can select all of them before adjusting the alignment. With my insertion point in the paragraph, I can now turn my attention to the four alignment tools. Can you align the body accordingly? Left aligned means that all lines in the paragraph butt up against the left text margin. This is the default alignment for most paragraphs within a document. No extra spaces are added to the line. The text of each line does not line up with the right margin, so traditional typesetting terminology often refers to left aligned text as ragged right. The next alignment type is center aligned. When I click on this, then all lines in the paragraph are centered between the left and right text margins. No extra spaces are added to the line. The text lines up with neither the left nor the right margins. The third alignment type is right aligned. When I click on that tool, all lines in the paragraph butt up against the right text margin. No extra spaces are added to the line. The text of each line does not line up with the left margin, so traditional typesetting terminology often refers to right aligned text as ragged left. The final alignment tool is for justification or justify. This means that all lines in a paragraph are expanded so that they butt up against both the left and the right text margins. To further refine the alignment of your paragraphs on a page, you can specify indents. There are two quick ways that you can specify indents using tools available on the ribbon. On the home tab of the ribbon, as you see here, you can see that the paragraph group includes tools that allow you to increase or decrease the indent for your paragraph. All you have to do is click on this one to increase the indent you can achieve better control on indents by displaying the layout tab of the ribbon. Here you'll find a paragraph group as well, and you can specify values in the left and right controls right up here. You can even use the up and down arrow keys to uh, move the indent either in or out by a small amount. If you enter a value in the left or right controls directly by typing one in, remember that Word allows you to specify an indent that is accurate to two decimal places. Now there's a very important thing to keep in mind when it comes to indents. They are relative to the margins in your document, not to the edge of the paper. So let's say that you set up your document to have a, a one inch margin and you specify your paragraph to have a half inch indent. This means that on a printed page, the text in your paragraph will begin 1.5 inches from the left edge of the paper. Since indents are relative to the page margins, this means that you can also specify negative paragraph indenting. For instance, watch what happens when I decrease this left indent here. You'll see that it goes down by a tenth of an inch each time, and as we pass the zero mark, it becomes negative. I can keep going and the paragraph moves into the margin area as you can see. Thus, if my document has a one inch margin and I specify a negative half inch indent for the paragraph, the text for that paragraph will start a half inch from the left edge of the paper. If you want the greatest level of control over your paragraph indents, you should ignore the ribbon tools and instead display the paragraph dialog box. 
A quick way to display it is available on either the Home tab or the Layout tab of the ribbon. All you need to do is click the small icon at the bottom right corner of the Paragraph group and you'll see the Paragraph dialog box appear on the screen. The indenting controls are, conveniently enough, on the Indents and Spacing tab of the dialog box. Now you are already familiar with the effect of the left and right controls. It is this control over here, the special control, that you should pay attention to right now. By default, this control is set to none. If you click the down arrow at the right side of this control, you can see that you can choose either first line or hanging. Choose one of these and Word makes the by field active. For instance, when I choose first line right here, the by field automatically displays a value of a half inch, meaning that the first line of the paragraph will be indented by a half inch. This special indent is in addition to any left indent that you've already specified for the paragraph. You can see an approximation of the indenting effect near the bottom of the dialog box. The other option, hanging, allows you to create what is called a hanging indent. This is a term that refers to a paragraph in which the first line is not indented, but subsequent lines in the paragraph are. The value that you specify in the by field indicates the indent that should be used for the subsequent lines. When you are done specifying the various indents that you want applied to your paragraph, go ahead and click the OK button to dismiss the dialog box and those specifications are applied to the paragraph that you had selected uh, when you displayed the dialog box to begin with. By creatively mixing paragraph alignment and indents, you can make your paragraphs appear on the page just as you would like. I hope you found this video worthwhile. If you did, please take a moment to subscribe and click the bell so that you can be updated whenever I add new videos to the Word Tips channel. I appreciate you joining me for a few moments today.